Hey there, welcome back to another episode. Today we have a really cool episode. We're actually pre-wiring uh, one of my favorite customers' houses now. Uh, it's kind of the precursor to his other house, so this will be a smaller Savant system that we put in place. We have two TV zones. We have the main family room downstairs. We got audio zones in the master bedroom, master bathroom, master closet, basement, kitchen, and actually the deck too. So we have a couple of them going in. And uh, get ready uh, and let us pull some wire. You can see that there's actually been some things done by the actual previous electrician what I'm pointing at there we're actually gonna add to that we're not gonna get rid of it but we are gonna add our own lines and whatnot and uh, bring it down to our rack location in the basement and other than that let's get started let's show you around show you everything that we're actually gonna be doing here so I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you everything else so as you can see in here this is gonna be one of our main audio zones this is gonna be a 5.1 setup TV is gonna go right over the fireplace as you can see right there spinning around the kitchen here is actually gonna be another zone of audio. And then we'll pop an access point right up in the corner over here. We have our dining room over here. That's not gonna get anything in it. Another wide shot of the kitchen. Moving through, we'll go upstairs. As we come upstairs, you can see in right in here is our master closet. We have two speakers going in there so you can rock out when you're getting ready. Master bedroom here, we have two speakers going in as well. And then also over there, we have a frame TV that we're gonna pop in when we're ready. So there are some cables and connections there already as you can see, but we are actually gonna leave them, just add to them. Then in here, we have another two speakers here. So pretty crowded on our ceiling layout so far. That's totally okay. We're gonna fit in with everybody else. Moving back out, we do have a couple access points points on this level so we should be fine when it comes to wireless coverage it's not that big and we did our uh, wireless design and unified design center so now we know where all of our access points actually have to be placed in order to get the best coverage walking to here this is where they ran their original chime wire for a regular doorbell we're not going to do that we're going to do a savant door station so we're going to drop a cat six right here in the wall and poke it out moving down in the basement it's going to be a little bit dark so down here in the basement we actually have another really cool hangout room again i apologize for the darkness over here, we have a wet bar. Here, we have a 5.1 channel surround setup. Uh, we got our speakers actually going in the wall because there's a lot of duct work and different things in the ceiling here that we do not want to deal with. So over here, you can see, we'll have it all there. Our TV's there. This is actually going to be like a pool table area. So we have another two speakers going in the ceiling over here. A couple access points down here. And then our main rack room will be right in there. So as you can see, we had another great day. We have Windy City Wire here on site. There we go. So you can actually see, I don't know if we mentioned this before, this is actually one of their larger rack pack boxes. And unfortunately, this was a little bit of a rush. So we do have some Genesis here that was just left over from the office. Um, but we have two Cat6 boxes and we have some of this 14.2 as well. So, so excited to be using them. It's so efficient to pull, like I keep mentioning. It's a great product. We strongly recommend that anybody in our industry really takes a look at Windy City Wire. They're so awesome to work with and we love buying their wire. On to the next thing. This this is where our rack's gonna be. This little room is a mechanical closet. And then I'll actually take you over and let me see. This is what the previous electricians have done. Lit up my phone flashlight. There you can see our loop. And then that goes up and services the rest of the house. Now we are gonna leave this in place, but we are gonna run our own wires so that we have all of our own connectivity in our own rack. So I would say we have about six to eight zones of audio, a couple TV zones, and that. And it's just, you know, not a ton. It's it's a perfect setup for this house. So we'll go back upstairs and we'll get a couple time lapses of us doing stuff and I'll close out at the end when we get everything run. So now as we're pulling wire, this is actually a really nice time to highlight why Windy City Wire stands up from the rest of the wiring crowd. So as you can see here, these are our pull boxes. As you can see here, we have another company and there are their spools. So now you had to see, we had to bring in a broom and take one of our ladders now and make it, um, you know, like a spool. And that's fine and you can always do that. And they sell different components that will actually help you with that. But this is one of those things where these pull boxes with the rolls inside of them make it so efficient when pulling wire.
So this set of pools is going all the way up to the master bedroom and bathroom. So that'll be our first two speakers. And then we have our access point and our wire for our TV upstairs as well. So that'll be the full master bedroom minus the master closet being wired. This is gonna be a really nice size project. It's gonna be pretty much the perfect amount of TVs, the perfect amount of anything zones, which Savant is, could be stereo, TV. Then we just have audio zones, so we have a lot of that. So when you're entertaining, we have speakers throughout. So it's not blaring music, but it's enough to keep background. And especially in a carriage house, you don't need the most power, but you still wanna have great sound everywhere. And that's what we love to do. So we'll make sure that we have great sound, we have great security, we have great cameras, we have a great door station, and uh, we'll put in some awesome TVs. And it'll really be a beautiful space that you'll be able to watch movies in and really just enjoy yourself until, you know, either your next project's completed or if you wanna start adding different pieces, Savant is the brain and Savant can handle it. Also wanna highlight communication on a job site is extremely important. That's why we use two-way radios. We don't use our cell phones because we need to be in contact as soon as possible. Possible. If we're pulling a fiber wire, if we're pulling another wire that can't get damaged, we just want to make sure that we always have constant communication. So now we'll feed these up that hole and that'll be our line for the TV and the master bedroom speaker and master bathroom shed of speakers too. Right in the center there. This is how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> That was very really good. I need to put more wire for that side. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. All right, so now I'm gonna cut my first set of wires here. So you also have to remember that you are going into a rack. So you do have to leave a little bit of extra cable that is going to get wasted, which I hate to waste cable, but that's the way it works. So through here, it'll come down the wall, it'll come out of the wall, and I always leave a little umbilical and I trace it out like I'm actually gonna do the rack. So I know that I'm probably gonna need about this much cable coming out of the wall. That's enough for me. I'm gonna go through here and then I'm gonna trim it off. Now the cat, I can always leave a little bit extra of because I have more of that. Today I don't have a ton of speaker wire, so I don't wanna waste too much of that. Perfect. So here is your first couple runs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the head for the next run, which is for the master closet and for the access point in the hallway. We're gonna get away using a U6 Enterprise access point. It's got a little bit more power. Um, or we can even go to a U7 now, but we only need another two wires up top. So I'm gonna build them. You always wanna make sure when you're pulling cat, you don't have any kinks in it. So now that we're done with the second floor, what I'm gonna do is actually cut these off. I'm gonna tape this as one bundle. Are you ready for me to cut or you wanna come down? Give me one, one minute. Okay, we just wanna make sure our lengths are correct so we don't have to actually pull any more. 76 feet on this roll, 146 feet on the other roll. So this may get the kitchen done and something down here done. That's pretty much all that these spools are gonna get me through. I feel like it's really hard to buy wire in the 500 foot range because you always use more than it. So just marking this. And then what I'm actually gonna do is just write two on it. So I know that it's our second floor. And then I know that even though these aren't labeled, I know which floor they're gonna go to, so it's gonna narrow me down a lot. Alrighty, figured I'd just tune in, give you a little bit of an update of what we've gotten done so far. So in the main family room right here, we've got all of our speakers in, we've got our jumper wires in, we've got everything in here. We've got the inside and the outside TV wired. So they both have CAT6 to them. One will be a trigger or IR trigger, and the other one is for ethernet. So depending on which TV we get, I know that we have both methods of control as well as connectivity. Then here, we we have our other box right here. So that has a cat six in it. Then we got our camera wired in the corner over there and we have our kitchen wired. So ready there. Upstairs is totally done. We have our doorbell wire, which I'll swing around. I'll show you right here. So that's going to be our door station. And then right now we're actually just working on wiring the two exterior cameras, which is going to be the garage door and then the exterior of the side, which is going to be the front walkway where you walk up. Then we're going to pull our next two here and we're going to move down to the basement. So a lot of progress so far. We've pulled about 2,700 
100 feet of wire so far, which a lot of wire. And then at the end, what we're gonna do is go around to all of our holes and we're gonna fire foam them. So that's just fire blocking and by code so that no, um, if there's a fire on the first floor, it doesn't move through the holes that are drilled or there's some code about it. And we're just gonna do it because everybody else did it and that's fine. So that's the update so far. I'll uh, bring you back when we have everything finished up and I'll take you for a full walk around. Alrighty, so after a long day, we're pretty much finished. Uh, we just have to run a couple last jumpers, but I figured I'd take you on a walkthrough and show you everything we did from top to bottom so you can see it and I can show you what we did. So now in here, this is actually where we have to run one of our last jumpers, which you can see the white wire hanging here. This is a master bathroom, master bedroom. We're just working on wiring that jumper. Master closet here. There's the jumper. There's our two wires. So we stapled them kind of in a uh, infinity symbol so we can, uh, they hook on to each other, but they also mount. So if they're not hanging for the drywall guy, there's our other loop moving down this black wire here is for a touchpad we ran another wire to the TV for control or Ethernet depending on what TV we actually go with we can now move downstairs you can see that there's our doorbell line it's that black line right there so we made sure to go through and fire foam it since everybody else did we did it too so Fire foam the exterior, moved here. You can see here's our other bundle of wire, fire foamed as well. That goes all the way up. We fire foamed both of those holes. Moving to the first floor now, you can see that we actually got all of our jumpers in here. We have our TV wire. So each of these TVs did get two Cat6 lines, one for control, one for ethernet, outside and inside, which is cool. You can see up there, I'll gently zoom in so you can see it. All that's fire foamed. That's our exterior speaker moving through. You don't want to hit your head on the orange pipe. Another speaker and our deck camera is back here as well. That actually came up from the basement floor instead of going through the ceiling. So since we made another penetration, we had to fire foam it. It's a common thread here. It's a lot of fire foam. So that's all fire foam through and through, top and bottom. Here is another TV location. Wasn't originally discussed, but we saw it. We made sure to wire it and it is what it is. At least we did it before we didn't know and they drywalled. Moving this way, we do have our kitchen speakers. We have a set of jumpers there, moves over to there access point and another thing that I like to do, I like to staple everything in a big loop inside the wall. So I know that my touch pad's gonna go here. So I figured I'd give myself enough room that if I did need to maneuver it, I could, but it's all nice and tidy in the wall. It's not hanging out. Moving through. So right up there is an access point. I don't, you can see the black wire. It's right there. And then right out here in the garage, uh, we actually did put another security camera in, so you can see that black wire hanging. You can see we came down the studs. Look at that, beautiful. Fire foamed, coming all the way down. Fire foamed again. They actually make two different types. You can fire caulk or fire foam. Uh, sometimes the sprinkler companies fire caulk, so you'll see if they have any penetrations that were done, you'd see it actually be caulked. But let's go downstairs into the basement. Actually, there is one more thing. Like I said, the door station is going here. So the contractor, sorry. So the contractor that wired this, they uh, did put in a regular doorbell, which is fine, but I wanted to make sure that we had a door station from Savant so it could be answered through any of the touch screens inside the home. So that's what this wire is right here. You can even see that little bit of orange fire foam coming out. We wanted to make sure that every penetration we made was completely sealed. Now I'll go back in and I'll show you the next two cameras that we did before we go downstairs. So you can see we actually followed that. I don't know if you can see our two little black lines right there. Then both of them are hanging outside of this soffit here. Well, you're not going to really be able to see that well. It's unfortunate. Okay, well, whatever. All right, let's move downstairs. Alrighty, so this is going to be a really cool hangout space. My customer has a wet bar that's going to go right around here. And then here, we made space for a 77-inch TV. We have a left, right, and center speaker. I'm thinking of doing JBL synthesis down here because it is a great room, great movie watching space. You can see up here, we have our surrounds. So that's that black wire there. Moving over, there's our other black wire. This is an access point. And then you can see penetration, fire foam. This is for our subwoofer here. So we can either do an in-wall subwoofer, which is totally fine, or we can do a floor standing one either way. And then another little thing I wanted to mention is I ran another category line, which you can see right there. And that actually goes to the generator. So the electrician already ran one, but there's no modem or anything around that he would be able to plug into. So I gave him the courtesy of leaving him a line that he can connect the Generac to directly so we don't have to focus on wireless issues. Like I said, there's the original panel 
that everybody wired into. I actually brought two lines into there just in case we have to put the modem in. We can run them back over. And then over here is the beautiful part. So what I do is a lot of guys will actually use the um, media consoles like that in the wall. Uh, I really like to do these because I put in nice uh, wide mouth plates that all the wires come through. So I separated it between my ethernet cables here, my speaker wires, and downstairs I actually use this black wire for all of our synthesis speakers that we're gonna pop in. Made it nice and neat. And then another thing, I actually put my wires into a trash bag. That means they don't get all dusty and dirty and they can come out for the drywallers who can feed them through and they can go right back in the trash bag and keep them safe. So stay tuned because this project will have a second part and that will be actually installing all of the finishing touches. So pretty much once it gets to this stage now, it's all framed, it's all wired, it's all fire foamed. It's pretty much ready for drywall and insulation. Once it's insulated and drywalled, everything starts to come together really fast. So hopefully, maybe by May. We're back in here wiring and actually popping in equipment. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode showing you kind of how we do things and how a smaller Savant project will ultimately look and how much wiring actually goes into a smaller project, which is really what I wanted to highlight here, which is still about 3000 feet of wire. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Uh, we are always releasing content, so be sure to be on the lookout for that.